All right, hi. Hi, uh, my name is Ben. Hi. Nice to meet you. Very nice meeting you. Yeah, um, so I'm here today because I have a, a couple of things that I, I was hoping to talk to you sure. about. Of course. So, I made some notes and get uh, um, One of them is personal. Sure. Uh, and the other ones are a project that I've been working on that I wanted okay. to show you and get some feedback. All right. Um, but the first one is, um, so I've, I've lived in Taiwan for 11 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I have been hoping to apply for citizenship here. Um, so I've been trying to go the route of the high level mm -hmm. foreign professional. Um, but recently I had my mm -hmm. application rejected. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure why they didn't give me a lot of feedback. So you already hold a plum lesson card? No, I have an APRC. Uh, you have the APRC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, I'm, you're, you're familiar with the process. Yeah, of course, of course I am. Sort of and, and so, yeah. Um, so I'm wondering, they, they told me that I could reapply. Of course um, you could. And so I put together a new application. I'm just wondering if you'd oh. be willing to... to walk through the process. Read the, mm -hmm. Well, just read the cover letter that I put sure. together okay. um, and see what you think is missing and mm -hmm. why it was possibly rejected. Because mm -hmm. uh, they wouldn't offer many details, they just say, sure. oh, doesn't did, did, you, did you go to your local household registration on the fast track? Because uh, you already have a APRC. Yeah, but that would require renunciation, right? A what? Renunciation? No, 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 no. no. But it is, it's a new policy, basically. Like this renunciation-free application. Also, um, is now taken care of by the Ministry of Interior. Uh -huh. So instead of going through MOEA or MOST, uh -huh. the, uh, if you already uh, have a uh, APRC, uh -huh. then that means that the HUCO, uh, the Household Registration Desk, will be able to just take your application, send a kind of verification letter uh -huh. to the Ministry in charge, but they do not have to convene a council. Okay. Uh, to to evaluate, like the evaluation board has been simplified. Okay. And they just have, have to reply saying, "Hi, look, my to us," and then the who call uh, registration uh, will be able to get back to you, uh, and okay. then you, you don't have to renounce. And this is new, like as of this year. Wow. Okay, that, I didn't know about that at all. Yeah. Because um, what I've been trying to do is get a recommendation letter from mm -hmm. MOST, yeah. and then have to go to the Guohui and get yeah. that approved. Um, but they, you know, they said yeah, that's the old process. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll have to try this thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd welcome any feedback you have on the on the letter and you know mm -hmm. what you think it's missing or what what could be improved. Mm -hmm. no, I, I don't think anything is missing really. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. And really, the the fact is that the simplification process already um, predicates its kind of criteria on the uh, permanent residence. So if you already uh, have a permanent residence, then uh, not only uh, there's no panel review required, but actually um, the recommendation letters are optional anyway. Really? Yeah. But of course it helps to send them in, but yeah. So, so it's, it's a real uh, simplification of the process, basically saying that a APRC holder who work for one of the professions that we consider high professional, um, like talent, foreign talent, whatever uh, term that it uses, uh, is uh, almost automatically qualified uh, for naturalization without renunciation. And, and so it's a, it's a new direction for the MOI, okay. which is why they are willing to serve as kind of the one-stop uh, desk for this kind of application. At the household registration? At the household registration. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I, I will go talk to them and sure, see, sure. see what they say. Mm -hmm. um, that's really that's really good to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, and I have the, the link uh, to the to the new uh, process, and I'll, I'll just email it to you. Sure. Um, um, what's your email? It's uh, B Hamnik B H O M N I C K. Okay. okay. Yeah. At Gmail. Okay. Awesome. So you have the link now. How do I connect to the Wi-Fi here? Sure. SI Lab? Yeah, I think that that one is free. Or there's a triple I net Wi-Fi TAF free.
then you're already on there we go okay so i want to i want to show you a project that I'm sure, sure. yeah so i love i love hiking okay. in taiwan mm -hmm. um and i know with the with the pandemic it's getting more and more popular people are going out and doing the hikes mm -hmm. um but i feel like there's not a lot of really good english language resources mm -hmm. for going hiking in the mountains. I know. Yeah. so what i've done is i've put together this site wow um that's a, that's a nice looking mountain <laughs> Yeah, um, so it's it's called Peaks of Taiwan, yeah. and the idea is that it's going to be route guides and um, hiking information that covers all 100 of Taiwan's by year. Um, so at this point, basically, um, you know, the, the the framework is done. Okay. Um, the website's done. Uh, it uses um, you know CC images from Flickr. Yeah. Um, the GPX data is crowdsourced, so it's 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 kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and it has tools for like finding routes that you think would be good. You know, I need I need public transport. I need an easy route. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can go up Snow Mountain. <laughs> okay. Right, easy easiest one. Um, it's for everyone. It's for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, yeah. Do you hike at all? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I try. Uh, you I climb. Mean, I tried. But, but the last time I tried, even to on the Elephant Mountain uh, or the Yangming Mountain and so on, there's just so many people uh, taking pictures with me yeah. that I can't really climb either up or down. Too much of a celebrity. <laughs> That's right. I really tried, but, but yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so I think, I mean, I think the, like it includes all the information, right? Like mm -hmm. public transport, how to get the permits, cabin mm -hmm. information, photos. Mm -hmm. uh, the recommended itinerary, the GPX you can put on your on your GPS unit with <laughs> with all the information in okay. Chinese and awesome. English. Awesome. Um, so can you apply for the cabins uh, here? You can't apply for the cabins, but it has links for doing that. Um, so, for instance, there's a section right here's here's the link where you apply for the cabins, and, ah. and it, it takes you to the national to the national park. Right, right, right. I know you guys were working on a. I yeah, the unified application yeah. system. Yeah, and it's in English too. Okay, well maybe I can link to that as well. Yeah. Um, so this is this is a big project, um, and you know I've I've done a lot of uh, data input myself, um, but you know I have twelve of one hundred peaks, and and that's already you know been a ton of time to cover. Oh. Um, how would you recommend, you know, looking for collaborators or getting drawing attention to this project so that it can get some interest and maybe get some contributors to help out? Mm -hmm. but first of all, I think the, the API that we developed uh, pretty much uh, allowing the cabins and campsites, uh, existing website to talk open API mm -hmm. uh, through this uh, one-stop type smart Taiwan service to just email you. Uh, I think it's your kind of natural ally because it gets updated uh, quite frequently and there's kind of official English translations. Uh, I have email to you, but it's at hike, H-I-K-E dot P-A-I-W-A-N. Hike dot Taiwan? Yeah, that you'll read the T-W. And there's a kind of planet icon on the upper right side uh, that if you click, should show English. Oh, or it's already shows English. Excellent. Already shows English. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so, so the main idea there is, is your natural ally. Um, and there's also, of course, the application providers that already uh, integrate uh, with the service and in fact have been uh, instrumental in developing this, mm -hmm. uh, like the hiking book uh, and, and so on. So there's like this ecosystem of uh, app providers uh, that builds Ooh. this together. Um, that's that's including cool. HPX, uh, tracking and things like that. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, what, what is the name of the hiking book you mentioned? Yeah, just, just hiking book. I think it's hikingbook.net. It's an app. It's an app. Um, but also um, is part of the, the ecosystem that basically um, shares the, the GPX and so on uh, that will then enrich the experience. I don't know whether they have plans for internationalization though, but it's worth a try to reach out to them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there it is. So there's an English part of their website. 
Okay, this is very cool. So it, does this, is this system, is this something new or is it like a wrapper around the national park? Uh, uh, it's new and it's a wrapper. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, all the existing systems, we make sure that they have their open API um, points, webhooks, and so on, so that this one-stop uh, system can make the same registration in a fair fashion mm -hmm. as you would on um, those uh, previous operating websites. So it's not a replacement, it's rather more like a kind of unified entry point. Okay, I see. Um, and you said there's an API for this? Yeah, well, app. if you start, you know, the inspector, you see that you get anyway. <laughs> if I start digging into it? Yeah, uh, and, and there's another uh, ecosystem uh, part, uh, called HikingBG, um, hiking.biji.co. Ah, uh, yes, that um, one I do know. Right. Hiking. Hiking.biji. Yeah, this when I plan uh, hikes. This one, this one you know. When I plan hikes, I use this one. Yeah. This one integrates with the application system? Um, uh, they advised us in the initial design, uh, mm, but I, okay. I'm not sure whether they actually consumed the API or not. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me, let me play around with this and see mm. if it's something we could integrate, at least an entry point to the permit system. Yeah. You know, when you when you click the link, you just type in your date you want to start and hit go and it prepares, okay. prepares the app for you. Yes. And, and they perfect. all have, the, both of the apps have a really large community around it. So some of them probably speak English, uh, and so it's a great way to recruit uh, fellow developers and to be able to promote their website as well. Okay, great. Um, do you think that any media would be interested in covering this project? Or? Uh, that's a really good question. So, uh, see, I don't really like that <laughs> myself. I don't know about the, the, the media related uh, to, to this activity. But, but I imagine that um, the, the, maybe the Web Zero Summit, uh, there's always a um, media outreach for mm -hmm. the um, ideas of civic technology where people can improve on each other uh, and make things better together, especially if parts of it is based on open data or open source. Uh, and so I think Web Zero Summit this year is in Hainan. Uh, I'll be there actually uh, in uh, December. So um, actually on that previous page, um, there's a summit uh, banner, right? This one. Uh, this one? The, the large one, yeah. There's a pink, yes. Uh, here we go, right. So um, the, the agenda, I don't know whether it includes hiking, but certainly um, around uh, facilitating placemaking, original travels, um, environmental preservation or really on day three it's just a huge amount of unconferences where you can just host a session yourself I guess. Wow. Um, okay. It's a, it's a great way to connect to to fellow um, civic media. That's that's a term that we use. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll I'll do that. Um, when is this? December third through sixth. Okay. Just still some time. Just still some time to get ready. That's very cool. Um, so one of the one of the additional uh, features that I wanted to do, actually it's the project that I wanted to do first before mm -hmm. I ended up doing this, was I wanted to do visualization of hiking safety based on accident reports. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because you know the laws have been changing recently. You know, they're opening up places that needed permits before. Um, yeah, now you just need insurance. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's there's a lot of controversy on whether or not that's actually safer, or if it's causing people who are unprepared to go out and mm -hmm. and get lost. I know. Um, so I've been I've been talking to Taroko National Park to see if I can just get data on you know the accident reports, mm. you know where it happened, how many people were involved, the reason whether it was being unprepared or whether it was something else, um, and. Uh, they said, we, you know, we can't really give out that data because it's, you know, it's... Unless uh, they fly the helicopters, in which case there is open data. Yeah? Yeah. For helicopter flights? Yeah, for helicopter flights. Okay. Um, and they also told me that it's kind of a mess because the report goes to whoever responds first to the incident. So if the National Park responds, they do the report. And if the police respond, then they do the report instead. Um, so is is there a way to request data from yes. at data.gov.tw? There's a 
something called uh, I want more, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because I do. I have some contacts at the national parks, and I think I can probably convince yeah, them. The, the interactive 互动专区, or the third from the... Uh, 互动专区. Yeah, that's the, the third on the top menu. Uh, yeah, this one. And then I want <laughs> yeah. Quite literally. And then you just uh, tell them what kind of data you want. And they usually get back to you within a couple of weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you, uh, and you can see an example of how the request is formed and... Sure, sure, sure. Ah, very cool. Yeah. All right, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and usually they're pretty responsive. They're pretty they're responsive. Good. And if they, they can't open, at least they'll give you a pretty good reason for it. Okay. It's not just bureaucratic. We don't want it. We don't want it. Well, it is this. bureaucratic. It's efficient and effective bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, not used to that kind. <laughs> That's great. This is this is fantastic. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think I think that'll that'll probably be the next project is and maybe maybe make an addition here because I I plan on doing um, this whole uh, information section about mm -hmm. like you know insurance dangers equipment all that all that stuff. Awesome. So that should be that should be good. Cool. Okay, so you think the best way to get attention is to uh, yeah to to uh, make sure that the civic media knows about the project. Okay. So there's a way for them to contribute to code or data. Yeah, I mean it's yeah you can it's all open source. It's on sure. GitHub. Sure, um, sure, sure. The you yeah. know you can contribute photos. It's all CC yeah, license. Yeah. And then yeah, just just I don't know, just go to a app conference room and start <laughs> talking about your your project. Uh, okay. There's uh, bi monthly hackathons, so feel free also to um, attend those bi monthly hackathons at Web Zero and, and just uh, book a uh, kind of pitch slot uh, and then just you know, ask fellow contributors. I'm sure many of them do like. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'm in the minority, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where are the hackathons organized? Are those on Gov.com? Yeah, yeah, yeah those on the Web Zero website. There's an there's a English version of that website. It, it comes up automatically. Yeah, wow. Very responsive. Yeah, I think the second link, uh, our Tanjia Dong, uh, is currently broken, but uh, <laughs> uh, but you can you can join it on the events, and then um, the, sorry, the, the one that says Jiling Li Huo Dong, that's the fourth on the menu item. Fourth on the menu uh, item. Yeah, Jiling Li Huo Dong, right? And then Da Song Lu for the second, yeah. And it goes to the Hackathon portal, I think. Mm, okay. Yeah. Fun. Right. So if you click register now, then uh, well, it goes to the I to, guess to the registration page. Yeah, to the registration, which already has. But uh, I mean, there's one every other month. So. Okay. And what is how, how does the hackathon work? Uh, it, it it explains that on the previous page, like very meticulously. Like the process. The so process. Must have had okay. Yeah. I'll check this out. Yeah. And the people, I mean, do these have to be new projects or can you bring no, something you've been working yeah, on? As long as it's uh, under open definition, like open source or open data, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, definitely, definitely have to do that. Um, and then in, in general, I mean, like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy to contribute to other projects that are, that are interesting. Um, is, is this a good w way to find projects? Mm -hmm. to well, yeah, definitely. definitely yeah. Um, are, are these like government projects or are these private? These are public service projects. Public service projects. Yeah, okay. because G0V, like it's just a changing G O V T W the O to zero. This is a digital reimagination of government digital services. Like what if government service were like this? Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, peeps.tw sounds like something <laughs> that Gov Zero people would do, actually. Okay, <laughs> like cool. That's, 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 that's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I know, like, you know, there, there aren't a lot of tourists coming in right now. Uh, well, no tourists coming in right now. Um, but, you know, it's, it's getting more and more popular. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's just, just a little way to contribute to that. Um, let's see what else is on my list. Um, I think I think that's basically everything I wanted to okay. ask you. So well, effective and efficient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so yeah, not keep it short and sweet. Um, 
yeah, thanks again for okay. being. It was really a pleasure to meet you. And awesome. uh, I'll, I'll go talk to the, you said you sent me a link for the. Yeah, yeah I, I sent you a link for the APRC naturalization process. Okay. And let me know if there's anything I can help. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll, um, this is, yeah, th okay, so this is the same one that I was talking about. Yeah, but, but there's, the, there's the second clause in it. If you have the Meihua right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Then, I don't. then you don't need. The oh no, I don't have it. I don't have a Meihua. I don't have a Meihua. No, no, but no. you 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 have an APRC. I have an APRC. Yeah. But I think you you can go to the the household registration desk anyway because that's the first clause. It says, uh, "Shen Xin Ren Ke Xian Qiang Nei Zhen Bu." Right. So so that says. Um, it doesn't have to be MOSD, it could be MOEA. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, because you're um, unique and innovative, uh, and I said it on the record. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's official. It's Thank official. You. <laughs> unique and innovative, like specializing in, in free software and open source development. Um, and I think still, I think it's uh, the qualification that, because then the, the, the thing is that if you go to MOI first, then it's well within their KPI mm -hmm. to help you naturalize. Okay. But if you go to their MOST, apparently they don't have that a KPI. Ah, okay, interesting. Yeah, because yeah, I went to MOST mm -hmm. and um, you know it was rejected, and everyone yeah. says MOST they're they're super strict. Yeah, you know, they want academic people. I, I know, I know, PhDs. I know. And 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 I mean, social innovation. That's a MOEA specifically a MOEA SMEA thing, but. Uh, if you go through MOI, then MOI people will, will know that. But okay. if you go to MOST, they don't necessarily know that. Okay. Yeah. So, so I should, <laughs> I should, I should go to the uh, household registration office and yeah. just say I want to directly apply to right. MOI. I don't that, want to that, go that's right. That. That's right. And then, and then say that because you specialize in social innovation, um, Audrey Tan told you that MOEA, SMEA might be actually the the right. Uh, window to ask, but you're not that sure, so you defer to the MOI. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yeah. Um, and, and attach the YouTube clip if that, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it probably would. I mean, yeah. Uh, just seeking to, you're, you're to very, this particular moment. <laughs> very highly regarded. Yeah. <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> um, Perfect. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll let I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, I think I think I I think I made a follow up appointment in a month or so. So sure, uh, sure, sure. Awesome. Just 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 follow up on that. Yeah, um, and if the experience doesn't work as as we intended to, then then I can give over to the Minister of Interior. Oh, that's that's really that's mm -hmm. fantastic. I really appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Um, okay, cool. I'll give it a shot, and we'll see we'll okay. see what happens. Um, great. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but can I can I take a picture with you? Uh, no worries. We just took a video together, but <laughs> <laughs> Joe can help taking the picture. Yeah, um, yes. sure. sure. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, it was a real pleasure meeting you. Real uh, pleasure. I'll try this and uh, yeah, let you know how it goes. Yeah. Happy hacking. Oh, you too. And hiking too. <laughs> hiking and hacking. <laughs> That's right.